it's your ASMR friend just checking in on you. I hope you're doing well. Welcome to the sleepy planet. I called it Z Z Z. And hopefully it's as peaceful to you as it is to me. When I first discovered this planet, I really didn't think I'd stay long. The life of a traveler is such that you bounce from one planet to the other. But every now and then, a planet calls to you. <laughs> Outside, it is negative 65.8 degrees Fahrenheit. That is quite cold. But luckily, I have my suit. Of course. What do you take me for? But as I was saying, I didn't think I would stay long because it's cold here. And I don't do well in the snow. Yeah, it's pretty, but oof, it's just so cold. But honestly, space is a cold place. So, in a way, I'm used to it. And when you spend time as a space traveler, that kind of becomes your home among the stars in space. So maybe it makes it feel familiar when you're walking on the surface. And just like what I'm doing now, the more I walked through The more I see, the more reasons I know why I fell in love with this planet. There's just this very calming nature. So I built myself a little base down here, and this is the teleporter room. So if I need to really get out of a bind or the convenience of traveling to a space station in another galaxy, All I have to do is come here and go in. But we're not going anywhere. We're going to stay here. I still have a little more to show you, if that's all right. see our neighboring planet the green glow from these majestic looking plants even in such an extreme 
environment. They light the sky. They light this world. And it's just soothing to me. And snow, it isn't the worst thing. I like the way it covers the trees. the ground. It's just everywhere. Nearly blends with the clouds in the sky. So I don't know how long I'll stick around this planet, but now that I have a base, I can come back to it at any time I want. Nature is such a wonderful thing. Just the sounds of it. Feels very reassuring. I don't think about time so much here. I think maybe that's part of the charm if you will, about such a cold planet, so that you really have to adapt to it. You change and adapt along with it. I guess that's what a home should be like. So. Here's just my simple quarters. I have some supplies ready to go next to the door, as well as miscellaneous kind of stuff. And of course, a food processor, very important. And actually the meals, not too bad. Gotta say, I'm not a great cook, but that little guy helps. He's got a nice view of CZZ. Place to sit down if you care to. different side. And then, of course, you know, you never know. You have to be ready. So we got a weapon rack and workbench. Another view out in the distance, the top fin of my spaceship. And next to it, that building is what I call the Winter Sunset Observatory. Just 
just a simple bedroom with medical assistance and a little bit of storage. Nothing fancy, but it's all very practical. Now, we'll get back to that observatory, I promise. But there's just a little bit more that I want to show to you. And it gives us an excuse to get out, stretch our feet, and Just take it in. Notice the rings. In the sky. Definitely don't see that on Earth. Or how about two suns? Up ahead, we have an atmosphere harvester. And you can tell it's really important by the fact that it has its own antenna. <laughs> but it's important it will extract gases from the air and compress them and out comes material we can use. And we have this very fun building. The safety rail. Oh, you know, this will occasionally happen sometimes. Nature fights back about what you grew, so I'm just going to take care of that. Wrong one. So sorry. You know, it's been forever since I've used this. There we are. My goodness. Let's get inside. This right here is precisely why I built this. For moments like this. You can feel that warmth. You feel safe and you feel 
Good. You don't need to be so hard on yourself. Allow yourself to rest. Just let all that weight float away. I'm so happy that we got to experience that together. That's the amazing thing that can happen when you decide to call a place home. A few of you may know what this is, some of you may not. It's a message machine, and if I had my HUD on, it would tell you a little message that I left, and it would say, Enjoying the view from 2022. No, no, no. No, I screwed it up. Oh, no. No. What it would say to you is enjoying the view since 2022. <laughs> I know. It's so dumb. And the odds that anyone would stumble upon this base. C-3PO would implode with the calculations, but there's a small part of me that wishes, like, someone find this in 2028. He's like, what? This is six years old. I don't know. That's the joy of uh, space exploration. What can I say? So I wanted to make sure this place was comfortable for guests if they do come. I have two restrooms, you know, I think they're pretty nice. Got a fridge and Food storage, furnace built in, keeps it nice and warm in here, and you guys can just hang out, sit around the globe. Kick your feet up and relax. Okay. We're going to go back outside, back into the cold, and now we don't have the sun to keep us as warm, but it'll be okay. It's worth it when you can look in the sky. I think that's what maybe sealed the deal on this planet, even though I've seen the stars from countless planets, 
It never gets old. I guess there's no hiding the fact that I built a secret landing pad, landing pad, landing pad, landing pad. For emergency landings or emergency exits, it can work as both. How nice is this? Yeah, I think this planet kind of surprised me in just how much I actually find myself really enjoying it here. So, if you claustrophobic. I get it. We're going to go into a tight area, but not for very long, and we'll be out. So, it'll be okay. You can trust me. Just going in here. Mm -hmm. We're moving forward, going forward. And I know it looks like it's blocked off, but we have more to go. Down below. So we're gonna jump down there, nice and easy. Okay. <laughs> Felt that a little bit, but it's okay. Got some light. What's this? Why it's a teleporter. Okay, so, full disclosure. I have not really done this a whole lot, but it's kind of fun to have a faster means of transportation on your planet. On your base, I should say. We're going to walk through it. And again, for those that are claustrophobic, we're going to go into more small areas. But soon we will be back out and enjoy the planet once again. So just stay with me. Let's go. It's not so bad, right? And, yep. Okay. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Take a break if teleporting is too much for you. Another one to go through. All right. Very cool. Wow. 
Isn't it beautiful? <laughs> so you might be curious. Where did we teleport to? And that would be at the Winter Sunset Observatory. Again, I don't know why I said again, because I haven't said it before. I'm not a designer, okay? I just built this the way I could, you know? And I kept it incredibly simple. Because I feel like it's meant to do one thing. to let you enjoy the incredible beauty this planet has to offer you. It's not a bad place to look in my mind. I've lost a lot of time just enjoying where I'm at. And so I love that about this place. And that's right, there's only one couch. But hey. You can always enjoy a drink with yourself or a friend, your ASMR friend, perhaps. My feet are kind of killing me. So I'm thinking about, I don't know, maybe just sitting down for like three hours. <laughs> 